I mean, the New Zealand music industry is like 95% GCs and 5% dicks. And that's like the same for any industry. Like most people have, they're good people and they've got good intentions. But you can't be a reflection culturally if you're not reflecting, you know, the people. And the community you work for. Yeah, exactly. The community so you're paid to support. Most of the media is white. Most of the music industry is white. Um, that's not on each of those individual people. Like, they're not going, yay, white supremacy. They're just going about their lives. So you sort of have to have to interrogate like who's at the top of these institutions, who's it actually falls on like far fewer people's shoulders. It falls on the shoulders of the heads of each major record label and each government funding agency. You know, you're actually only talking about sort of like twenty to thirty people whose job it is to make sure that their organization um reflects Aotearoa. Um and so they're the ones that aren't doing doing their job, in my opinion. You know, it's not sort of the record exec whose job it is, the a &R guy. Because of course he's going to go out and go, oh, look at that group of handsome young men with guitars. They're going to sell. Because that's his experience. Like, yeah. you know, that's what he came up with. But, you know, someone like Tere Moana in an A&R role is going to find someone who fucking blows your mind, you know. They're going to be someone completely unexpected and they're probably going to sell more in this day and age than the you know, the guitar band, because there's a million of those. Yeah. Um, so it's that top level. But they're, they've been in those roles for 20 years. You know, like, there's a lot of turnover in the music industry, but at that top level, there's no turnover. They're not moving. And the industry, to me, has always felt it's kind of like a cowboy industry. You know, it's kind of like entrepreneurs or small business owners or... It hasn't had sort of structural kind of, you know, benefits that corporation, like corporates kind of do in terms of having HR or, you know, having like a diversity strategy. There aren't those kinds of things put in place. And I think that that's just so overdue. And so, you know, it's 2017, like, get with the program.